Hey all, my name is Luke. I make bags from high performance materials that would otherwise be discarded. And today I'm here in the Truce shop and I just wanted to do a little video feature about my hot air seam sealing machine. So this is a machine made in Japan in I think the early 90s and it uses hot air that comes from a compressor to add this tape that makes things watertight. So obviously when you're using a waterproof material, but you stitch it together, you're punching a bunch of holes in it so it's not waterproof anymore. So you can either use something like seam grip, which is basically a glue, or you can use a tape like this that is applied with heat. So the first thing I do is turn on the compressor to get air flowing into the seam sealing machine. And that provides it with all the air it needs so that when I turn on the seam sealing machine, air starts flowing out the nozzle. So as I turn on the machine, it starts heating up and it gets up to a certain temperature that will allow me to apply this Trico seam tape. If you have a waterproof jacket out of Gore-Tex or something similar, you'll be familiar with this look of the Trico, it's called. And it's just a nice tape to apply for breathable materials. And it doesn't require as high of a temperature as the non-breathable materials that I get sometimes from the dry suit factory. So I really prefer using this stuff because it goes on easier and I can also make the machine go a little faster. So all the seam seal liners in the drop liner products are made from dry suit factory scrap. And my favorite dry suit to deal with happens to use Gore-Tex material. And they have colorways from a couple of years ago just sitting in their warehouse that they don't know what to do with that's kind of leftover. So I buy that from them. I get a good deal on it because it is pretty expensive material because it's really high quality and that's what I use in the seam sealing machine. So I buy this tape separately. The tape is not that cheap either. Uh, it's made in Japan and it's really high quality and it goes on really nicely. So once the temperature is all the way up to where it needs to be, I can get the tape in position, lower the top roller, and swing the arm into place to get the nozzle shooting that hot air onto the underside of the seam tape. The seam tape feeds in through a series of tension regulating thingies and that way you can make sure that it's feeding down from the roll at the top uh, without too much tension or too little tension and that it's right in the middle of the rollers. So on this machine I do have a top roller that I can turn on to be heated as well. So it's not only hot air coming out of the nozzle, but there is also an actual heated roller on top. This seam sealing machine has a post bed and a cylinder bed that I can switch between. And the post bed is really nice for when you're doing something like a sleeve on a jacket, because you can kind of put the whole sleeve on there beforehand and then it just feeds through nicely. I mostly use the cylinder bed because I'm having some issues with the post bed right now, honestly. And uh, also I used the post bed a lot more in the past and so that silicone roller is a little more used. And those silicone rollers are like a hundred something dollars a piece. So I try to spread out the wear and tear on those. This machine does have automatic tape cutting feature as well, but I tend to not really use that because I just get a pair of thread snips and I just kind of trim it as close as I can so that I don't waste even a couple centimeters of this precious expensive seam tape. When you're making something like a jacket, you really want to be able to sew something, seam tape it, sew it onto another piece, seam tape that. So it's a lot easier to do it that way than it would be to sew an entire jacket together and then seam tape the whole thing. So really it's a process of going back and forth between machines. For my drop liner backpack and the drop liner duffel, it's that a little bit, but it's mostly sew it together and then seam tape it because it's not as complex as a garment would be. So yeah, that's just a quick look at the seam sealing machine. I hope it was fun to watch and maybe learn something a little bit. I know they're not quite as common as a sewing machine, so I'm really lucky to have this thing. I got a good deal on it from a company that was going out of business, so I'm really stoked to be able to use it on the bags and hopefully design some new stuff in the future that uses it while we have this great machine here. So thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it.